going on YouTube, man? It's your boy Coyote Mar back at it with another video, man. I know I haven't dropped a video in a while, but I got some a big surprise coming to the channel soon. So, man, make sure y'all are staying tuned to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to go do that right now. Man, you guys see we got the 91 pump. If you guys wondering why I'm pumping some 91 instead of that good old E85 where we always pumping the, um, the beast, um, we're going to Vegas today. Now, if you guys know why I go to Vegas a lot, Y'all know I get my parts, all my parts shipped out there to Vegas at my boy Moan house. We also should be making some content with Moan. So, so be tuned for that video. Also, if you guys don't know who Moan is, he does have the red eye, man. So he's going crazy with that. Might have him drive the car, see what we're going to do. I don't know. I don't know too much yet, but filling up on that 91. Go get a full tank. Hopefully we can make it to Vegas in one stop. Um, try to get you guys some cinematics on the way just in case you guys don't know. How the drive is, the Cali, the Vegas, you guys want to see the scenario and everything. But a car was pretty low on fuel. Wasn't too much empty, but as you guys see, man, $64 to fill the, to fill the tank up on some 91. Now with the 85, man, I feel about $30, $40 with that. $64 on a 91. Let's go ahead and get this pump out and get the road trip started. I don't want to hold up too long. Let's try to beat this traffic. And I'm going to catch you guys when I get out there in Vegas, like I said. at night still 110 degrees outside right now i do believe it is like 110 degrees now i'm gonna go check in my car in just a second right after i go ahead and pump this gas um no we have no rewards card huh. that good old 91 put some 87 in there man car gonna be running real smooth <laughs> uh. all right man let's go ahead and see what the gauge is saying inside the car Alright man, I know y'all seen it right there. Wait for it to pop back up. We're gonna show you guys in just a second, man. Alright, man. 109 degrees out here, man. And I promise y'all by the time it gets to tonight, at like around 9 or 10 o'clock at night, it's still gonna be around like 105 degrees. It's just hot as shit out here. I don't know how people do it in Vegas, man. We do have our appointment scheduled to get our cams installed. So man, make sure y'all are tuned in to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Be sure to go do that right now because I do got some bigger content coming for y'all. Also, man, if any of you guys are wondering if you should go E85 over 91, man, I will 100% recommend you to go on E85 if you have some available stations near you, man, because the power is like a whole, it's a whole nother car, man, with the E85. But I'm gonna go ahead and cross this light real quick, make sure it's clear. Give you guys a little baby pull real quick. video yet but he just went ahead and went with the new graphics on the teeth man at first i think it was the same color to the black but that silver man make it look way much better than it had at first and it was already looking good at first what y'all think man shimon shimon switch out the red eye for the 5 -0? <laughs> let me know some man if this motherfucker was a wide body bro this would probably be like the hardest car I've ever seen bro like the hardest red eye most definitely but we should be having one box i'm not too sure how big the cams are but i'm pretty sure they're a little long so it might be a little heavy we're gonna see everything man i never had cams on any of my cars before so hey, it's gonna be the first time let's um see what's happening got my boy mo man make sure to go check him out oh, man you already know what's going on you see him on the quads and everything now <laughs> bro it's stalling out for real i, I, I gotta learn the gears i'm learning the oh, gears, all right, all right. So. how you like it though if you guys been watching man you basically seen what i was in vegas for as you guys see now i'm back home back in cali it's time to go full gusto mode on this mustang so if you guys haven't watched the earlier part of the video i did just go ahead and buy some cams i am going to go ahead and show show you guys the specs and everything of the cam 
because if you guys don't know there are different cams that you can use for the car different cams gonna do it's gonna do the car different performance wise depending on which one you go with which tune you have and all that now if you guys don't know man i am tuned by one car is both one right now i am running the dumps long tube headers e85 and intake so all we need now for this cam setup is the is that cobra j manifold and once we get that cobra j manifold we are gonna have to switch out that intake now, if you guys know, man, I am using my boy's Mat 760 intake. It is the P51. Let me go ahead and show you guys, matter of fact. All right, so like I was saying, man, y'all see, I got, I got Matt's intake on. Now, like I said, this intake is meant for the 18 manifold. So with the cams, like I said before, you are going to want to go with a Cobra Jet, man, for max power gain. So we are getting that Cobra Jet real soon. As soon as I can find one in stock, if I checked a couple web websites, they're all on back order right now. So if you guys know anybody in SoCal selling... A Cobra J manifold, be sure to hit me up, man. I need that throttle blade, I need the new intake, and all that good stuff. But Matt is coming out with, with a Cobra J intake, and he does have one that comes out to the radiator. Also has another one that is like the same the same directory of how he had his last one. I believe it is a, a different tubing size and everything. But enough talk of that, man. I'm, we're gonna go ahead and go get a wash real quick. After we get a wash, I'm going to go more into the specs of the cam so you guys can see which cam I went with. And if you guys choose to go my route or they have another cam that a lot of people do suggest going with. Now, I was going to get that one, but that one was also on back order. And I did see this one. And the specs did look a little more aggressive, but um, Lund did tell me that they that they had a car with that cam and it wasn't putting in too much work. But we're just going to try again, see how this goes with this car. Hopefully everything goes right. If not, we might have to switch the cams out. And next time we might have to go boost cams. If you guys don't know me, I went with the NA cams, but I do want to twin turbo the car soon. So I might go with the boost cams if I end up don't liking this cam. If you guys are wondering who I am getting the cams installed by, I'm going to my boy, Matt GT. We'll leave his Instagram at the side of the video, but we're going to be doing all that tomorrow morning. Like the process of getting everything installed and I have another video with you guys first pulls man with the cam mustang it's gonna be crazy but like i said stock manifold for right now stock throttle body and p51 intake e 512 so this is pretty much all I, I was told that i needed for the install so we have four different pieces of cams man if you guys don't know the gen 3 coyotes do come with four different cams so let me show you show you guys real quick we have one cam <laughs> two cam <laughs> three and of course the last one the fourth one like i said the car does come with four cams and i guess for the gen threes man and the comp cams that i went went with if you didn't catch that earlier i went with the stage two comp cams now i think these on the website are called the mother thumpers or something it's not the regular stage two but it's another one so hopefully the car is running good with these on like i said some people testing them they didn't like them some people test them and they actually did like them so with that being said, we can go over here. We have all the bolts that we needed for the cam install. Um, I talked to the guy who is doing the cam install and he, he sent me all the links. So pretty much we have the balancer bolt, it says. We have the cam phaser bolt. And then we have, what was the last one? The cam tower bolts, I guess. So that's everything we pretty much needed for the install. We're gonna pack everything up, get everything in the trunk, and keep you guys updated with everything that goes on. guys so we finally made it here to drop the car off of the cam the car is looking pretty good man if you ask me it's all washed up so when we pick up the car with the cam 
um the car's gonna be pretty loud um i don't know if you guys know or not but i did buy some muffler dumps Go ahead. Oh, shit, I, locked it. I did buy some muffler dumps for the car and hopefully that quiets down the car because with the cam the cold start and everything is just going to be crazy loud i'm already knowing now i don't really expect to get a lot of chop from the car i know the mustangs doesn't chop a lot chop a lot just like them ls's do the ls's chop like crazy my boy um russ just got his car cam car sound crazy and he doesn't have an aggressive cam in his car it's like a little mild cam and it still chops so i don't think i'm really gonna get that on here i feel like the power is gonna be there though hopefully it is like i said man all my seats are in right now because if you guys did watch the video man we just got back from vegas had my dad and my girl in the car so good looks to my boy cam bam 392 will leave his instagram and youtube at the side of the video but hey man we both gotta wash and his shit is looking crazy if he get that ceramic coat man my boy car is gonna be going full and gusto wild what you plan on doing to the car cam what's going on you want to tell youtube something or what yeah <laughs> he, he don't want y'all to know yet so <laughs> we're gonna make that a little surprise but we're gonna wrap everything up um get ready to go home and i'll catch you guys in the next one